Hey everybody, Jacob with Sound Digital. And if you've been paying attention to really kind of what we've been broadcasting or showing or bragging about or alluding to over the last couple of months, you've noticed three letters that, that really jump out. G-A-N or GAN. I'm excited to be able to talk about what this technology is, what it does for sound digital amplifiers and how it's really going to kind of rethink or reimagine the concept of class D. So the big thing is the elephant in the room, what is GAN? What makes it different? So a GAN transistor is different than a traditional MOSFET in that the actual device itself can handle more current, which eliminates some internal devices, which allows the amplifier to behave differently, and which really gives us far more control over the signal of the amplifier. How does that benefit Sound Digital? Well, Sound Digital is known for massive power in a small footprint amplifier. So if we had the ability to use a smaller and less devices, then we obviously have the ability to make an amplifier even smaller than it, than it really could be or really should be. And, and that's what's exciting about this amplifier that's sitting in front of me. This is the GAN 1500.5. Yep, you heard it right. Sound Digital finally gave us a five channel. And the cool thing about this five channel is it's just massive power squeezed into this amplifier. So we've got 125 by four at four ohm plus a thousand watt mono block attached to the amp at two ohm. So for versatility's sake, this amplifier can do absolutely a lot for us, but it really is going to be focused towards a, a kind of specific aspect of the industry. So the other cool thing about GAN is GAN gives us the ability to provide, let's call it better SQ. And, and I do air quotes because SQ is a subjective thing. It's, it's up for interpretation. But what this technology allows us to do is really kind of eliminate distortion and increase signal to noise ratio. So what happens now is this class D amplifier that is not normally associated with the concept of SQ can now rival a lot of the high end AB amplifiers that we know and love. So now I've got a ton of power in a small footprint that's super versatile that would rival what we what we think of as SQ class AB amplifiers. And to me, that's super cool because as an installer, I can't always put a surfboard in a car. And, and no matter how much I love the amplifier or how much I, I would sacrifice anything, sometimes you just can't do that. And that's really what's going to set GAN apart is this will do things that much larger and more biased amplifiers will do. The, the line itself is super cool to me because Sound Digital is doing what's really important. And that to me is minimizing skew count. The five channel that you see in front of me here is going to be our first launch. This is what we felt was going to be, let's call it attention grabber. And the next amplifier that's coming out is, is going to be really be the only other amp that we have planned. And that is gonna be an eight channel. The cool thing about the eight channel for me is it takes a lot of the same sound signature and characteristics, but opens up again, that versatility. So now we have, an eight channel that's gonna provide 165 by eight at four ohm and 250 by eight at two ohm. But now we have an eight channel, we have a seven channel, we have a staggered six channel, and we have a gigantic four channel. So now in an SQ world, I could take that eight channel, run it staggered six to a three-way active front end, giving me 165 by four plus 500 by two all at four ohm. So now, dynamic headroom is there and I've got all the power in the world that I could ever need paired up with any a, a phenomenal monoblock from from Sound Digital really gives me as an installer the ability to fine tune and, and build a system to do exactly what I need to with SQ in mind. The other cool thing I like about the 8 channel is it's this exact same footprint. So if you're looking here and you see this 5, you can now 100% imagine what the 8 is going to do. All kind of thought processes have been dumped into this amplifier. So high and low level input via the RCA, full control over, over uh, generic crossover settings. But also we did something that Sound Digital has never done before and added input selectors. So if let's say you just wanna run two channel to this amplifier, you can then assign all outputs to run off the two inputs. You can give yourself four channel input if you wanna give yourself dedicated sub control uh, off of an aftermarket radio, but you don't really care about fader. So there's, there's a lot of cool things that we did in this, this tiny little footprint that you'll see in pictures and, and hear us talk about as the lines develop that really are, again, going to set GAN apart. Now, for us, this is a special product line. So we are treating it as such. You know, this is going to be a line that is, is available through 
an elite network of retailers. Not every dealer is going to have access to it because we feel that it is that, that staple of a phenomenal product that we want to make sure that the installation goes along with that. Um, so we really are, are working with a network of retailers across the nation that we feel can accurately provide the level of quality that this amplifier does for us. So again, it, it really is that this is something special and we are making sure that the retailers who, who work with the product really do understand what is so special about this. It's not just another class D amplifier. It's not just a good sounding amplifier. It's not just a sound digital amplifier. It's a perfect combination of all of these things that are really gonna make it special. Uh, for any other questions that you've got, feel free to reach out to us, sounddigitalusa.com. Uh, that will also be a, a great source for you to find your local retailer. They will be identified by, by a GAN icon on the dealer locator. Um, or if you're interested in becoming a retailer for this product line, it, it gives you the access to do so. Like I said, if anything pops up, let us know. Thank you, have a good one.